During the summer and fall of 2007, 10 UC San Diego students spent a lot of time in laboratories with weather monitoring instruments, electronic data loggers, and routers that send measurements wirelessly to a campus computer. Soon after they attached the equipment to utility poles and tripods on top of university buildings, the weather data began filling that computer. Their sophisticated weather monitoring network amounts to a key step toward helping the university understand how to use ocean breezes to cool its buildings. The network also is being used to identify the sunniest spots to expand the university's solar electric system and to use irrigation water more efficiently. At home, I'm the person who is shutting off the lights and I'm trying to save the energy. So I think in getting involved in this project, it would help me and the university to do this in a bigger scale. The students are being mentored by two professors at the Jacobs School of Engineering, Jan Kleisel and Paul Linden, as well as two professors from the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology, Doug Palmer and Bill Hodgkiss. Although it is a student project, this one is unprecedented in the United States for the generation of highly dense long-term weather records. So right now we have uh, five stations in operation. Uh, we're trying to cover the whole range from uh, the ocean to East Campus. Um, and eventually we will have about 20 stations which will be partly on the road at, uh, at lampposts and uh, partially on building rooftops all over campus where we can uh, have a good uh, information about the weather conditions. We, we all experience the weather on a daily basis, but uh, you have to really look at at data, at, uh, at numbers, to figure out uh, what the determining conditions are. And students uh, can now do that uh, by looking at the entire process of uh, weather stations. So they set them up, they design the, the mounts, the enclosures, they install them, and then they also help me with uh, the data processing. So we will uh, measure at about uh, 20 locations uh, all across campus uh, the weather conditions, which means temperature, humidity, wind, uh, solar radiation. Anthony, can I call you back? Okay, bye. So my students on the roof. <laughs> UC San Diego heats and cools more than 11 million square feet of floor space. Reducing the annual cost of that air conditioning, even by a small percentage, would guarantee significant long-term savings. And that's where the weather monitoring stations come in. So this uh, a set of, uh, of micro weather stations throughout the campus is going to give us data that we can then use to plan solar panels, how we design buildings. Uh, more importantly, we can use ongoing data from these weather stations to actually change how we cool those buildings. Rather than us saying, on an average, in August, we're going to need to provide this kind of cooling or this type of um, heating. Uh, we can say that today, at this moment, we're, the, the temperature is such and such, and we can throttle the heating and cooling and the energy use up and down in real time. One of the uh, areas that you might not think of when we talk about this network of weather stations is how it might affect something as simple as watering our grass. We use many millions of gallons each year in irrigation and watering on this campus. And like most places, we have them on timers. Uh, what this weather station network will allow us to do is to have, these, uh, have the, the data of these uh, uh, monitoring stations feed into our irrigation so that in real time, we can increase or decrease the amount of watering based on that climate, that climate condition in that part of the campus. UC San Diego is committed to sustainable operations on a variety of fronts. It offers alternatives to commuting by car, an expanded recycling program, more energy efficient lighting, and it irrigates landscaping with reclaimed water. The UC San Diego Office of Business Affairs is providing $20,000 for the weather monitoring network. The Jacobs School of Engineering is contributing $50,000, and Johnson Controls has added $1,000. Wells Fargo is funding several sustainability projects at UC San Diego, including $20,000 for the weather monitoring stations alone. Wells Fargo is supporting this very important project at UCSD to help protect the environment, save precious resources, and ultimately reduce energy costs for consumers. It's, it's clear that UC San Diego is a leader when it comes to research in areas like global warming and climate change and even in energy management. And we have a great opportunity at this campus to become a laboratory for those technologies, to actually put into practice what we're studying. 
Paul Linden is an environmental engineering professor and an international expert on fluid dynamics. So one of the ways we can use this information is to uh, uh, reduce our cooling load on buildings. Uh, for example, uh, there's a new children's museum built uh, downtown in San Diego, which is uh, what I would call an advanced naturally ventilated building. Linden worked with architect Rob Wellington Quigley to use weather data from the downtown Marina District in the design of a natural heating and cooling system for the Children's Museum. If natural ventilation can work in the Children's Museum, Linden thought, why not at a nearby university? We have about 300 buildings on campus. Uh, they vary from being right on the beach, down at Scripps, up to the upper campus here and even further east from where we're sitting. Uh, and these uh, variations that we see, for example, in cloud cover, uh, may have a big impact on the performance of the building, on the potential for uh, uh, gaining energy from solar insulation. Uh, and so understanding this variability both in space and time is a very important feature of the network that we're setting up. So if we can reduce this energy use, for example, in the Children's Museum, uh, it'll be a significant reduction, probably uh, uh, well over 50% compared to a conventional building. Imagine what you could do if you could extend this to a whole range of buildings uh, across the campus, across the city, across the region, uh, nationally, would make a huge impact. Another important aspect of this project is the uh, fact that we're bringing science and engineering and policy together. So we're bringing new information by engineering new stations, that we can measure things, we can provide new information about scientific variables such as temperature, relative humidity, and so forth. And we can provide this to the facilities uh, uh, people on campus here so they can make policy decisions about how they want to operate. We've already seen uh, climate change in action in California, we can document it. Uh, and uh, this is setting a, uh, an imperative time scale for us to act now as a society. We envisage uh, significant changes over the next uh, 30 or 40 years uh, and we really have to act uh, to do, do something about it now.